so I'm going to show you a way to export uh, Alembics uh, with their vertex colors. So we're going to use uh, an example of a rigid body simulation and we're going to use a cloner with randomized colors and then we're going to re-import that back uh, into Cinema and make sure we have our colors and then we're going to um, we're going to uh, re-export it to, to make it a single Alembic. So you'll see what I'm talking about later. So we'll add our cloner. We'll add a random effector to uh, uh, just randomize the color of our spheres. And we'll add a rigid body tag and a, a plane with a collider tag so that we have our simulation. It's really basic, but it works for our purposes. So we'll export the Alembic. Make sure we'll go to the actual Alembic export tab to uh, make sure that our vertex colors are on. And if you don't um, go to this uh, tab, it won't let you see any of the options if you just click Bake to Alembic. So we'll do that to make sure we have the options on that we need. We will uh, re-import the object by merging. Um, and if you click on the Alembic tag for vertex color, we can see, yep, it did. Uh, it did export all our colors. And we have all these spheres individually uh, exported, which is sometimes inconvenient. So we will drop them all into a connect object and then re-export them uh, through the same method, go into the Alembic export menu and uh, saving them out. And then we'll, when we re-import those, uh, or, or when we re-import that Alembic, it will be a single alembic and it will also have all our vertex colors so this is a you know a good way to export uh from cinema with uh, the vertex color attribute intact so i hope that's helpful for you um this was something i found just testing something out and yeah might be helpful